three, two, one, go! Hey friends, my name's Anthony and this is the Outdoor Anthony channel. So today I'm going to review books that you would want to try to have if you are in an outdoor situation. There's a lot of stuff out there that is crazy and a lot of stuff that might just indeed save your life. And you're going to want to have three really main things that you want to take care of. One is really good first aid and wilderness medicine. The second one is already good equipment and planning ahead and preparing. And the third one is improvising and dealing with situations and emergencies. Now the books that I have today, I'm going to rate on a scale of 1 to 5 based on the three criteria that I just said. Bring them on! Extreme Encounters, How to Survive, Quicksand, Shredded by Piranhas, Swept Up in a Tornado, and Dozens of Other Unpleasant Experiences. Wow! So, I'm going to tell you this right away. Uh, this was a gift to my dad from one of his co-workers, and they're both business people, and this exactly is what this is. This is toilet reading is what I call it. Something that you put on your toilet for guests. Um, this is a bunch of extreme encounters of things that no rational person should deal with. This basically is a fear-mongering book that allows people to feel the thrill of all the dangerous experiences without enjoying nature at all. Ebola virus. I'm gonna say uh, a one out of five. So if you want to be terrified by nature, pick up this book today. The Complete Survival Manual by National Geographic. Now, this is a really fun book to have. Um, it separates through the different areas that you'll go through, whether it's desert, tropical rainforest. The one uh, thing I have with this book is there's no comprehensive first aid section. It is just sneezed throughout the book in terms of different areas. And if you're thinking to yourself, wow, my toe is bleeding, you're gonna go, am I in the forest? Am I in the desert? How to get water from a cactus, no. For that reason, I'm going to say that this book is going to be a four out of five. It is still a really fun book to have, and there's a lot of colorful, great pictures in it. The Knowles Wilderness Medicine Book. Now, I got this book when I did my Wilderness First Responder course, but this is the fifth edition of the book, and this is an amazing, amazing book to have. You don't have to take the course in order to get the book. You can find them online, uh, especially the, the previous editions. Now, the previous editions don't have a lot of things different, maybe one or two pages uh, every year that they come out differently. This is for everyday medicine, so I would definitely recommend grabbing this book, but this is really fun, fun, fun information by Todd Schnempelf. I'm gonna give five out of five. The Dangerous Book for Men. While this is quite sexist, it is also a pretty interesting book when it comes to stories, although this is not an outdoors man book. This is a book that tells you about things you can do that are skills. But some of them are also uh, nothing to do with the outdoors, like lock picking. Um, there's a lot of really good information in this book. This is something that if you're in the middle of the forest alone, which never really happens unless you're really unprepared. Uh, you don't need this book. So it's a good book, but I'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of five. Hmm. This book we're not going to throw because it's my favorite book. The Adventures of a Young Naturalist, Autobiography by David Attenborough. Now this is an amazing book just because it goes through somebody that is an outdoorsman that changed the, the face of the world when it comes to how people see nature. I would definitely guarantee getting this book. Uh, he travels to a super amount of countries and it is an amazing read. It's five out of five, faux shizzle. Now, onto my buddy Fred Damara. Fred Damara makes these really cool edible books uh, in terms of edible insects and eating on the run. Now, I read these back and forth. I've memorized each of these. I've annotated all through these books because they have amazing information inside of them. Although they are black and white, I would recommend uh, getting a colorful version as he does in the end of the book as well. But this is an amazing, amazing piece of literature to have. So I definitely recommend getting edible insects and eating on the run. Five out of five each. Yeah, five out of five, five out of five. Oh. Leave No Trace, Center for Outdoor Ethics. So this is a really fun book to have. Everybody that goes camping or anybody that should go backpacking for more than an hour needs this uh, knowledge. You don't need to buy this book necessarily, but the Leave No Trace Ethics are paramount. 
Uh, now, each of these tabs have different uh, sections. There are seven different ethics when it comes to Leave No Trace, and they list them all really well. Uh, for this book, I would say four out of five, just because of the fact that, well, it was printed uh, thanks to a sponsorship by Subaru, but it's really thick and dense. It's made out of gloss paper, and uh, there's like this spine to it. I just wouldn't recommend getting this book particularly, but Leave No Trace Ethics, please pick yourself up a copy of any kind of information on that. It is definitely worth your time. Any kind of local stuff that you could find at discovery centers or visitor centers by big parks are definitely worth your time. A lot of them are just from local uh, people that just decided to make a book and they have some really fun hikes in there, even things that are off the beaten path. If you're traveling to a new area and you're like, wow, there's too many dang people here, pick up a copy of some of these books. I would give uh, these two books, just in case you're in Flagstaff at the time, definitely five out of five. Now, a couple other things to make sure that you're feeling right at home when it comes to being an outdoorsy person is actually on your phone. So if you go to iNaturalist, iNaturalist is going to be right here. iNaturalist is an app that allows you to identify and find different plants and animals and fungus. And it actually IDs people too, just in terms of like homo sapien. But it's a really fun app to have. You take a picture of it and then people from all around the globe get to ID that plant for you. And there's a lot of people that are geeks like me, a lot of naturalists that just look through at pictures to see what they can identify. Go. Cool. That's clearly a flubicus. And yeah, they'll be like, yeah, that's a flubicarius pocopicus. And it'll just send everything and all the information to you. It's really fun. It's a good game. It's a great community. I think that you would definitely like that. An app that you should all really get is called Seafood Watch. Seafood Watch is an amazing app that lets you track and see what kind of fish are in your area so it's sustainably caught. And if you go to a restaurant and you decide to order fish, you can see if it's actually sustainably caught, which is an amazing thing to have. Part of being environmental, of course, is to see uh, how ethical you can be at home as well. Sweet, thanks for watching. What did you learn today? Well, if you wanna learn something more, get these books that I recommended. But also, drop a comment below, ask me some more questions. If you recommend another kind of book or another kind of app that might help out the environment, please let me know. I'd love to see them. And uh, please remember to subscribe if you liked the video. There's gonna be a lot more content coming soon. And I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to go out there.